So, if you are a fan of the Ford FE engine, then you probably know that it's a very fun, very reliable engine that only has a few small flaws, one of which being exhaust leaks. In this episode, I'm going to go ahead and show you the best exhaust manifold gaskets that I have found to seal the Ford FE engine, and I couldn't be happier with the product that I'm about to show you. So let's get right into it. For those of you that don't know, the reason that it's so hard to get an exhaust manifold to seal with a gasket on a Ford FE is because originally they didn't even have a gasket. The cylinder head surface was precision machined, as was the exhaust manifold, and they were just mated together and torqued to spec and sealed perfectly fine that way. The problem is, after years of heat cycles, those get extremely warped. They'll have all sorts of weird outlines around the exhaust ports. I've even had them with holes in the side if people ran them with exhaust leaks. I got on the internet and I did a lot of research on how to get these exhaust manifolds to seal with a gasket. And pretty much everybody kept saying the exact same thing. Buy a Rimflex gasket. Rimflex is a brand that makes very high-end exhaust manifold gaskets out of a very thick metal and fiber material. I followed Rimflex's specifications for install to the letter, all the way down to the torque specification they tell you to use, and they specifically tell you to not retorque these after they get hot. You torque them once and you leave them, unlike most exhaust manifold gaskets for the Ford FE engine. Another tip that I'd like to share is to use grade eight bolts because they do not expand and contract with heat quite as badly as the stock bolts that would have been on this thing. And so far that has worked for me. I cannot tell you if it's rooted in fact or not, but I needed bolts anyway, as most likely you will too, because they tend to break from all those years of changing heat. So that pretty much covers the cylinder head to the exhaust manifold mating surface. I definitely recommend you try out Rimflex gaskets if you do not want to have it machined. Without a doubt, machining them is the best option for longevity, but I couldn't be happier with these Rimflex gaskets and I definitely recommend them. They sell two different types of donut gasket for your collectors. I would very, very much recommend you get the fiber gaskets. The centered steel gaskets will last longer, but I have never been able to get them to seal unless everything is brand new, including the collector and the exhaust manifold. You can buy these manifolds for a very affordable price. Personally, I didn't know this at the time of actually doing this install, and if I had, I probably would have saved the time and just bought a new one because these were actually in very rough condition, especially the collector studs were both broken off and I had to fix those. And I believe it would have saved me $170 worth of time by just buying two new ones. And that's certainly something to keep in mind. I will link some in the description below. One more tip I would like to give you is when you are assembling this, be it the manifold gasket itself or the collector gasket, please make sure to keep all of your mating surfaces clean and free of the oil on your hands or grease or anything like that because that will cause it to burn the gasket out almost immediately. I have learned this the hard way so many times where I'm not paying enough attention and I end up actually damaging my brand new gasket and having to start all over. It took me too long to find this information the first time so I decided that I would go ahead and make a video just to maybe save you guys some time Time and money and frustration and once again this is not a new install I've had this in for 11 months and I highly recommend these all right so that is going to do it for this video today thank you so much for watching and I hope this helped if you're having a similar issue and I will see you next time on the channel